Well, Joey, we don't have time to talk about the NFL quite yet. We've got some college football on the menu for you, and let's start with the games we had this weekend. Tons of stuff here, and Kanish, you've mentioned before on this show, it's really hard to know about these teams and players until you actually see them in action and see them play as a team. Well, tell us what you saw this weekend. Any teams or players you're favoring now? Anyone have a rough week that makes you hesitant to bet on them? Give us the scoop from the big weekend. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, I mean, we'll touch, you know, on high, early Heisman race a little bit. Uh, I thought Mikhail Cunningham from Louisville looked like the goods. Uh, I mean, he was around there, you know, 100 to 1 before the season. That's dipped down now, you know, right around 50 to 1, 40 to 1. Uh, I mean, their offense looked legit. It's a Western Kentucky defense that may not get a lot of name value, uh, but it's a good unit. They put up 35. Uh, he looked fantastic throwing the ball, a little running action. Um, they don't play Clemson this season. He's going to be a guy that's going to put up numbers all year. Uh, so he's a good look. I would say, though, the chalk right now, Sam Ellinger over in Texas. Uh, I know it was UTEP, but, you know, he put up 435 touches. Uh, looked everything that people thought he'd be preseason. Texas, a real national title contender. Um, so those would be the two that, I, you know, I'd be looking to early. Uh, if you haven't got in yet as far as Heisman-wise, uh, you know, chop around for the best number and find them. But, you know, it was a, it was a nice opening weekend. Uh exciting and you know happy to get into it um you know with uh we finally got off to our big power five college football going on and uh we'll keep it going this weekend i do agree that the longhorns looked incredible over this weekend ellinger throwing for nearly 450 yards multiple guys rushing for over 40 yards receiving for over 100 texas is absolutely looking like a beast in the big 12 and kanish You've been giving us your takes on the different divisions and conferences across the NCAA for a couple weeks now. I know in your futures market, you flagged UNC to win the ACC and Oklahoma State to win the Big 12. But Kanish, tell us your thoughts on the Big 10. What is going on with this season? And then past the decision, is there anything you like? Any teams you would avoid? Run us through it. Well, so supposedly we're here. We've heard it, you know, day after day after day after day. They're going to vote. They're going to not vote. They're going to vote. Supposedly it leaked earlier that they're going to vote. And we're thinking a season's happening early as late October. So keep I'll keep my fingers crossed here. We're in the you know, Midwest town over here that we'll actually get some Big Ten football. Um, I would say I'm optimistic at the moment that it is going to some type of shortened season is going to happen. Uh, as far as the conference Ohio State's still the chalk. Uh, I mean, it's hard to see anybody coming out that, that that's not Ohio State, especially out of the East Division. Um, they're still loaded. A couple of the other teams, Michigan, Penn State, already had some key guys uh, declare for the draft already and looking like that they're going to skip the season. Uh, they just don't have the same depth as, you know, a team that's been recruiting insane over the years like Ohio State. Um, I would say, though, that if we're looking at the West, that's much more wide open. You've got Nebraska on the come up. You've got Wisconsin still in the mainstay. Uh, Minnesota's on the come up. Uh, you know, the, it would be a little bit more of a wide open as to who can get into that Big Ten championship from the West uh, and challenge Ohio State. Um, as far as a fade team, and this isn't because I'm a Michigan homer here, uh, but I think Michigan State's really going to struggle. Lost a ton of talent off the defense last year. Mark D'Antonio's gone. New coaching staff. Uh, they've missed a lot of spring practice with uh, some COVID stuff going around. Uh, I just don't think the roster is very good. I played them, you know, under uh, regular season wins early. I'll probably be looking for an updated just conference number when the schedule comes out to be fading them. Um, so for me, Ohio State's still the chalk. I, I, there's really nobody that I think can, can give them a, a handle from either division. I'll be looking for some value in the West once we get some official futures numbers there. Uh, and a fade for me gets Sparty out of here. Uh, Michigan State's not going to be nothing this year.